Hello Cluxton and welcome to our end of year assembly. Um, so today I wanted to share some thoughts and feelings about this year. Um, and as you know from the celebration assembly the other day, I feel incredibly sad that we can't all be together, even if it was virtually or me wandering around the classrooms at the end of the day on Friday. Um, but I know you're all doing a wonderful job at home, keeping yourself safe. So thank you. So I'm going to share my screen with you. So bear with me. Let me do the right thing. There we go. <laughs> that would help if I clicked the right button. So hopefully you can now see my PowerPoint. And what we're going to do today, children, is we're going to reflect on a year in the life of the Academy of Cuts and Schools, because it was a whole year ago now when where I um, was successful in the appointment of being the head teacher at the Academy of Cuts and Schools. And in September, I became the permanent head. And the other day I was sat with um, the senior leaders at the school. So Mrs. Smith, Mr. Bilton, Miss Taylor, Mr. Wersfold and Mrs. Jennings. And we were reflecting on what we've achieved this year. So here we go. So much has been achieved without even mentioning the word COVID. So I'm hoping I'm going to set myself a challenge that I'm actually not going to say the word COVID throughout. OK, because we've achieved so much more than just COVID and dealing with bubbles and lots of sanitizer and so on. So here we go. So back in around March time, I went to Mr. Bilton and I said, Mr. Bilton, I've just had a meeting with our staff. And some of our staff feel that our school values don't represent us anymore. So we used to have values aspire, respect, explore, believe, community and enjoy. And I set him the challenge of working with all stakeholders. So when I say stakeholders, children, I mean you, I mean staff, I mean parents and the senior leadership team and so on. And I set him the challenge to work with all those different groups of people to come up with a new set of values that represent us as a school. And Mr. Bilton started by talking to pupils and talking to staff and generating a list. And then he went out to parents and said, what do you think? would be the best set of values to represent us at Cuxton. And there were lots of votes and so on. And I'm really proud to say that we've generated our new school values this year. And I really do feel that they represent us as a school. So community was the one that most parents chose. Um, and I'm going to talk about this in um, a minute when we get onto the slide about community. But I really do feel as a school that there's that community spirit back um, and everyone is so proud to be part of the Cuxton community. Um, we also chose adventure. So I know in school and um, we have lots of adventurous activities going on, such as forest school and we go out on really adventurous walks and so on. Um, so adventure is our next value that we chose. And I know next year we want to try and work really hard as a school to promote adventure even more. So we're looking at purchasing some more outdoor equipment um, which promotes adventure. The next one we looked at was resilience. Now, we really want our children to be resilient by the time they leave Cuxton. And I do feel, children, this is something we still need to work on. I know when I wander around classes, I see the children being resilient in their learning. But we want you to be resilient in everything that you do. So it might be um, a challenge outside. It might be up at the forest school, or outdoor learning. It might be le learning new talent. It might be that if you have a challenging class that you show resilience in working with your um, partner or using the five B's, so the buddy and the brain and the board and the boss and so on to help you. So resilience is something we still need to work on, but I feel like we're getting there. And finally, our last value that we chose was excellence. Um, and it's really pleasing to see so many classes have achieved excellence um, by having 10 signatures on their display on their doors. Um, and I'm seeing excellence every day when I'm walking around the school. 
children are receiving their pen licenses because they've demonstrated excellence in their handwriting. I'm seeing excellence in the behaviour of the walking around the school during the school day and so on. So I'm really, really proud of the fact that we've generated these new values. And I do feel now that we live and breathe them. Mr. Bilson spoke to a group of children a couple of weeks ago and it was a resounding success in the fact that many children now could name the values but also explain what they mean. And you can see in the bottom left corner, you've got some year three children showing the community value. And I'm really, really proud of that. Also this year, children, we've tried to promote our strapline Foundations for Life more. Um, Foundations for Life has been part of Cuxton for a very long time, um, but actually it sort of slipped away a little bit and we didn't refer to it very much. But now we want our children at Cuxton to have the Foundations to, um, for Life to succeed in the 21st century. And we really feel that we're doing a good job with that. We've embedded our new school vision around outdoor learning. This time last year, we barely spoke about outdoor learning. And now our children are going outside regularly for their learning. And you can see lots of photos here. So year five the other week, we're trying out some of our new outdoor learning maths resources that we've recently purchased. We've got some year R's, early years children, taking responsibility for their garden area. And they've done a wonderful job. I popped down there the other day and there's so many plants that are growing. We've had walks. We've had um, a couple of weeks ago, we went up to the um, downs, some of the children um, with the KCC workshops. We've had children undertaking maths outside with shapes and English and artwork. We've also had lots of trips outside. And the aim is for every child in the school to at least experience outdoor learning once a week. Um, and I feel that we've done really well with that this year. The children, when we speak to them, love outdoor learning and we're hoping they can benefit from outdoor learning and understanding the impact they can have on their community. So we're going to keep going with that next year, children. We've also been working with our community more. So I said the community values. So we've had lots of careers talks this year for Key Stage 2. Um, and the children in Key Stage 2 have sat in the workshops and listened to um, parents within our community talk about their careers. Um, and I know lots of the children are really inspired by that. We've been working with Cuxton 91, with um, Zumba classes for adults, with the dance classes with Jackie on a Friday. So we've really tried to promote different clubs that are going on um, around the village. The Lower Bush Alpacas very kindly came and delivered a Christmas tree for us, which went in our forest school. We have the Giving Tree and many of you, pupils and parents have donated to the Giving Tree this year. Um, and it's certainly something we're going to continue with next year. I've worked very closely with the Parish Council um, and I've been meeting with Natalie Jackson from the Parish Council regularly to talk about some of the issues that we have in Cuxton, so parking and so on. I'm not saying that we've resolved all the issues, but it's really lovely to be working with the Parish Council again. And also you as children have been working with the community more. So Skylar set um, the children a challenge within the village. And it's really lovely to hear that children have been showing the community and um, community value outside of school as well. Well, remote home learning. And I certainly wasn't expecting the year to finish with us going back to the remote home learning. When I think back to last March, when we had to start using our computers and so on and setting lessons online. Um, I can't quite believe that was nearly 18 months ago and we're still going with remote learning now. But here are some of the pictures um, that I found on our Facebook page of children this year engaging with remote learning at home. Um, and you've got Lola who produced a parachute. You've got children um, writing books. You've got lots of artwork being produced. You've got children sorting toys because of the workshops they've been shown and so on. You've got children dressing up um, to do their remote learning, which put massive smiles on our faces. Um, I'm so, so proud of all of you, of all of what you've achieved this year, Cuxton, with regards to remote and home learning. It's not been easy, but you've kept smiling. I think also we've got some bakers in the making. When I went through our Facebook page to find the photos, there were so many of you that did baking at home as part of your remote and home learning, particularly when we had our wellbeing day back in February now, which seems like a long, long time ago. 
We have transformed our outdoor learning spaces. And when I say we, there are so many people that have been involved with this. You as pupils, you've had your environment afternoons, you've got muddy, you've got dirty, but you've cleared up leaves for us, you've planted par um, plants, you've painted um, steps and all sorts. Um, and our outdoor learning areas have been drastically transformed as a result. We've also had Mrs. Martin and Mrs. Smith and Miss Powell come in in their holidays to transform these areas and they've even roped in family members so you can see on the left hand side the two gentlemen there pulling down the tree um, that was Mrs Smith's husband and one of his friends we also had a staff meeting where we got some pizza in for the staff um, and they stayed after school to help transform the areas outside their classrooms we know we have a huge outdoor space at Cuxton, so children, I'm really asking you next year to take responsibility, uphold the community value, and if you see some rubbish outside um, or an area that needs tidying, to take responsibility and to deal with it. We've embraced creatures great and small, and we have lots of new fairy friends. So you will see on the left hand side, the lower bush alpacas came down um, and met with early years. And last week they met with year sixes and the children loved it. We also had a dinosaur come to visit year one. And I know it's incredibly scary. He ransacked the classrooms um, and he was with us for a whole term. Early years had butterflies come to visit when they were learning about um, creatures and so on. And this year we've had new school guinea pigs, so two guinea pigs, and that little boy in the photo is actually my little boy. Um, and over the Easter holidays, I had the pleasure of taking the guinea pigs home, which he embraced. He loved it. And finally, we've had Hugo join our team. Um, and Hugo comes into school once a week and works with children and also walks around the school and so on. And it's so lovely to have Hugo as part of our Cuxton um, environment, our Cuxton community. And I know lots of you are enjoying seeing Hugo and are looking forward to seeing him again in September. So, so many creatures, great and small, have been embraced by Cuxton. We've raised lots of money for our school and other charities. Now, children, we need to do a drum roll because Mrs. Searle contacted me the other day and told me how much we've approximately raised this year. So drum roll. Da -da 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 Stop. We've nearly raised £7,000 as a school this year, which is quite phenomenal. And come September, Mrs. Searle would like to speak to the pupils and parents to find out what they would like to spend some of the fundraising money on. Some of the money's already gone back into the school with regards to our new televisions um, in classrooms, our Apple TVs and so on, um, and also outdoor equipment for playgrounds. Um, but lots of money has been fundraised. You can see the pictures here that have put a massive smile on my face. So we've got our yearly hamper competition, the raffle. We've got children in need where um, children had a good old boogie we've also got charity events where children dressed up so dance -a thons and so on we had our sports champion come to visit and I know lots of you did sponsored events for that um, and we've also had recently the rainbow day so we're in the process of counting the money up for that as we speak we have even more talented children and staff this year, the amount of music lessons that have been put on is amazing. And a big thank you to Miss Sayer for organising a lot of those. We've also recently had Cuxton's Got Talent. And if you haven't yet watched it, you need to. Um, our children were quite phenomenal in all the talents that they have. And there were so many talents of children that I didn't realise. Um, so, for example, Daisy and her horse riding. Um, we've also had children produce... Um, brilliant home learning so I was particularly impressed with year four's home learning in the top corner but also very talented children on the iPads it's been a pleasure walking around and seeing the children who use the iPads and I'm going to let you into a little secret they're probably using them better than I can um, and you can see a picture there of Mia that made me smile when I found it yesterday. And finally, staff. So we have some really talented staff in school. Um, and a couple of months ago, we had a music assembly where some of our members of staff played their instruments. And um, Mrs. Balestrini produced a beautiful um, quilt of all the talented artwork that was produced by Year 3. We've had some amazing trips and visitors. 
Um, so lots has been going on this year, regardless of everything else that's going on outside of school. So we've had Zoo Lab come to visit. We've had year groups go to Chesington. We've had fire safety walks. We've had um, we've had creatures in year three come to visit. Um, we also had the year four Rochester Cathedral trip and the beach day. So much has been going on in school. And I'm really proud of us at, um, at Cuxton for carrying on with trips and visitors. Many schools have shied away from it this year but we've ensured that we've been safe in our approach um, and have made sure that children have had those experiential experiences they deserve. We've also introduced new reward initiatives and competitions and we've even won some. Um, so I have a picture there of the 100 Home Reads tree and I will um, post something on Facebook later, but it's well and truly blossoming now. Um, and the children are so engaged by 100 Home Reads. We've got any pen licenses, um, which has drastically improved the presentation of um, the writing in the books. We have competitions with Times Table rock stars and goodness me, the children thrash the teachers. Um, we had the Mass Reader competition. We also have the new um, golden envelopes for the assemblies, um, which the children are loving having their 15 minutes free time if they win the award. And finally, children, I do have some lovely news to share with you. Um, back in September, Mr. Bilson achieved um, the Kent Teacher of the Year Award from the previous year um, and was given his certificate. But I've recently found out that Mrs. Carmen has also won a category at the Kent Teacher of the Year Awards. So we're waiting to find out which category, but I'm incredibly proud of Mrs. Carmen and it's so well deserved. We do have so much to be proud of, and I particularly am incredibly proud of my Cuxton community. And finally, we have some goodbyes and thank yous. So Miss Parsons is leaving us this year. She's actually going to go and work in one of our other pr our primary first trust schools. She's going off to Springhead Park. Um, and Miss Parsons has been predominantly working with you too. Um, and it's been an absolute pleasure to have Miss Parsons with us at Cuxton. So we wish her all the best in her new adventure. Mrs Pamphlet, now I can't quite believe I'm saying this one children, when Mrs Pamphlet came and brought me her resignation letter to say that she was retiring, um, I actually had a bit of a tear in my eye because Mrs Pamphlet has been here for nearly 25 to 30 years um, and she has well and truly been part of my journey whilst at Cuxton. We were laughing this morning about the fact we've been through some tough times um, and unfortunately the way this is finishing for Mrs Pamphlet is not the way we wanted it to be with regards to bubble closures and so on. Mrs Pamphlet comes into school always smiling. She's incredibly supportive. Um, and she, yes, she questions, yes, she asks um, and if she's not sure about something and so on. But Mrs Pamphlet is so diligent in her work and so conscientious. And that is why she questions. And I love that about Mrs Pamphlet. She's had such a lovely relationship with the children and the staff. And we really are going to miss her in September. She's promised me, though, that she is going to come back and support with trips. Um, so I'm very much hoping that she won't be a stranger. Um, and we will be giving her a proper send off as staff, hopefully in September when we can. We also need to say a goodbye to year six. Now, year six, again, it's not the way we wanted this to end, but unfortunately with the current situation, it's a little bit out of our hands. I'm so proud of everything that you've achieved in the last seven years, but particularly over the last two years, you've been incredibly resilient. Um, again, you've come in smiling. You've worked so hard. And particularly because you haven't had the SATs, um, sometimes you may think that the, the children would have given up, but that hasn't been the case at all. You've been so conscientious and have demonstrated excellence at all times. And I know Mrs. Carmen and Mr. Brett and Mrs. Riggle are just so pleased with everything that you've achieved this year. I'm ecstatic that you managed to get your fun week last week um, we were a little bit worried it may not happen with everything going on um, but we were so pleased that you've got the time that you deserve with your friends and we're very much hoping to obviously have the fun day in September to say a proper goodbye just what you deserve so good luck year six with your pastures new we know you're going to go on and do wonderful things in September and finally, some thank yous. Um, I do want to say thank you to the parents. Wow, what a year. 
Um, if somebody said to me a year and a half ago, um, do you want to take over being acting head for a short period of time um, and there will be a pandemic coming around the corner? I'm not sure I would have said yes, but <laughs> um, I've absolutely loved my time as head teacher here. Um, it's been tough, but I feel fully supported by the parents. And although some of you may not have agreed with some of the decisions I've had to make um, at all times, you have accepted them. Um, and you've also supported your children amazingly at home, which I know hasn't been easy. Um, so thank you for smiling. Thank you for being part of our community. Um, and I hope you have a lovely summer with your children. The staff, um, well, where do I start with the staff? Um, again, you've gone above and beyond at all times. Um, and as a leadership team, we have felt fully supported. I hope you feel that we've supported you with regards to your well-being as well. I know at times that has been tough this year, um, but you've all been amazing. We're really looking forward to September and hopefully some kind of normality. Um, enjoy the summer break. We are having to do some drop-offs over the next few days of cards and biscuits and so on to say thank you um, because we definitely want to get those to you. So thank you to all the staff at Cuxton. You just are amazing. And finally, pupils. Goodness me, um, this year with remote education, you've shown resilience, you've shown excellence, you've well and truly upheld our custom values. And I walked around the school this morning and although we've only got a couple of classes in, it was a real pleasure to see those children that were in school smiling. Um, and also the children at home, you've kept connected with us, you've sent in photos, um, you've sent in videos that have made us smile. So thank you children, you have been amazing and we are so incredibly proud proud of all that you've achieved this year so thank you have a lovely summer Cuxton um, I can't wait to see you all again in September we do have three inset days so you're not actually back until Monday the 6th um, and we will be updating and sending you videos um, in the first couple of inset days to remind you of where you're going into school and so on so lots of information coming your way keep well keep safe and enjoy the summer break I'll speak to you soon. Bye.